the masters of early adoption and the slow paced cultivators. So this is going to be the human game podcast. <laughs> Sorry about the stream rotation right now. Uh, this is going to be the human game podcast, human game console podcast number 0007. So we're going to, if you're getting the hang of the, for those of you who are still here, not like getting annoyed or anything like that, getting all these videos every few hours, um, like I have any length of a topic or whatever the hell I'm doing with these, any of the thumbnails that applied. For those of you who are not getting too annoyed about that, thank you for sticking around. Even if you're not watching the videos, just try not to get the notifications bug you too much. You can drag, you can drag them back to personalized uh, notifications if you don't want to see, see too many of my videos at a time. Uh, or even blog, blog down your notifications if you don't want to see every single video I make, even if you actually just don't enjoy them. That's all. Just, just downgrade it from all locations to personalized. I'm, I'm saying this as someone who wants you to watch my content, obviously. You know, so it's like, <laughs> I don't want to annoy you. I, I actually care enough to say that. Even if I don't mean that, but who knows. But for episode 7 of the Human Game Concept Podcast, we're going to talk about that. It was the um, Masters of Early Adoption and Sophie's Cultivators. Time's a funny thing. We don't necessarily... It's a very flexible, feeble... Uh, it's a very flexible thing. It's like a... If you think about anybody who has ever said life is short or life is long, life is life may seem long, but longer the longer it's, it's actually short. Oh, life is long, we just waste all the time. So, 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 uh, all those things. So, what's, what, what I'll say about it is that adapting the time is a more of a suitable thing to consider. You don't have to be hard yourself about this or even in a hurry for any of this. A peace of mind is good for this. You don't have to be in a rush for most things. You don't have to be in a rush for things that you think you have to have, make, make worth it. But early adoption as a master, the possibility or not, is the idea that some, there's one class of persons who basically can get seem like they get what they're doing. And maybe they really do. They don't have to be seen as an arrogant brag word. But uh, some people who will say the cliche of uh, the stereotype of Oh, no one ever has it really together. Oh, nobody has all the answers. Oh, nobody has to uh, feel alone. They're not trying to be f- weird about that. They know what they're talking about. It's a common stereotypical thing to talk like that, but it's not. It's not. It's not so much of a lie. It really isn't. There's truth to, behind even stuff like that. So, it's not that they're saying that to be weird on people and hard on people for no apparent reason. They just they're just trying to let people know you have the option to decide for yourself. In case that's already a, a good way to do it. But uh, that you don't have to be in a hurry if you so chose. But most people think that's the object of the answer for some reason. So I don't know. But then we have so like master of early adopters would be people who obviously you know adapted something really well. They don't have to be seen as objective good at being able to tell it how to do something about whatever something something something. But they can't be like that kind of person who I adjusted maybe curse or slaga and jerk about what they know or don't know. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, they, con- the chagrin of people who are slow-paced cultivators, which the slow-paced cultivator, people like me, who take their, who thrive on taking their time, even if we didn't actually mean to do it habitually or naturally. It's like, a, I when Angel talked about the hunters, all in hunters, and the, um, the babies of farmers, he didn't mean that you take more or less breaks according to things. You just basically, well, that's what those involve the whole thing. How you handle the stress of working hard and multitasking or whatever, huh? or focusing on one thing at a time, even with as a farm as a hunter, or farmer still working hard, sorry, sorry, um, based off taking time. There is an idea that the slow paced cultivator is technically based as farmer, but you can you can still be a slow paced cultivator who's an on hunter. You just don't have to be hard on yourself about how you're going to power through things, even if you're still too slow, if that is the case. You're not someone who has to raise suit. And basically, the slow paced cultivator, if that doesn't make any sense, basically takes their time. Again, they thrive on being slow, even if they didn't mean to be. But it's just usually people who accidentally become cultivators, they actually manage to make their own lives. Um, if they if they weren't able to make sure that the taking their time was the case, then of course some of them would, might unfortunately still feel bad about how slow they were. I I, don't, I, mean, I know maybe for myself I may have felt bad before about how slow I was adopting things in general, not being let alone being a master of doing that. So you know how that would be said. I think there are some things I am a master of adoption for, but in the long scheme of it, I have been grateful 
for taking my time, even though I still wanted to be a speed racer car sometimes. But uh, I, I still tend to be like that, that ambitious, beautiful person in, in the in, on the inside and the outside. Someone who doesn't want to be seen as a, a inefficient, but also not catching up from a fear of missing out or whatever that goes. But the idea that you're not going to have anything because you don't uh, hustle, or the idea that you have to have a boring life just because it's possible, or you, that you should live a normalcy life compared to an ambitious life, whichever is in the minority or the majority, the people who are famous and ambitious, or the people who are normal living people and simple living, I'm not too sure which one's the minority or majority. I'm just the messenger, not, not really, not even the cultivator of, of uh, mastery mentioned, or whatever. But that would make the mastery of early adoption a good feat to have an example, and the soul-paced cultivators just will be full of people.